What's up DC Nation? Welcome back to another video. Today we are covering Teen Titans Academy number one. The mystery of Red X continues to unfold. And yeah, if you guys are ready, let's dive into this issue. We begin with a group of teens arriving at Titans Tower. Nightwing and the rest of the Teen Titans stand ready. Nightwing states, we put on the mask, knowing that no matter how hard we fight, the world as we know it won't change much. But we're not in to change the world. We're just trying to do some good. And maybe along the way, make for ourselves a future brighter than the one that awaits us. The teens go inside and send chairs, waiting for the assembly of Titans to begin. Nightwing says, That's enough out of me. For the official welcome, let's turn things over to the headmistress of the Roy Harper Titans Academy, Miss Starfire. Starfire walks up and promises the inaugural class of the Titans Academy that whether they choose to join the Teen Titans or not, they'll be ready for whatever awaits them on their journey. Starfire welcomes Beast Boy, Cyborg, Donna Troy, Raven, Nightwing, all to stand by her side and teach the teens the oath of the Teen Titans. We fast forward later to Nightwing, about to teach the class of teens how to fight in a room called the Fight Simulator. Nightwing calls Roll, Summer Zahid, Matt Price, Brick Paturoso, Alinta, Tubi, Gorilla Greg, and Stitch. But that's when one last teen shows up late. His name is Dane. He apologizes. Nightwing then tells Dane to join in. Nightwing then gives instructions starting with self-defense. But then the class asks about Red X. Nightwing ignores it at first. But then the hologram in the room shows the history of Dick Grayson fighting with the Teen Titans as Red X. Nightwing says, What is this? Who's hacking the fight simulator? None of the teens respond. Nightwing uses his opportunity to teach the teens fighting skills. He fights the hologram version of Red X and eventually wins. Nightwing says, The lesson is, Master Knots, you have to be able to look in the mirror and recognize the person looking back. If you do not, it is time to take the mask off. Masks are tools, born of necessity, but they can also be born of ego and mistrust. I admit, when I wore the Red X mask, I nearly lost myself to the darkness of it. But I had the Titans to uh, pull me back, to bring me back to the lights. That is what a team is for. If you learn nothing else in this academy, learn that. As for Red X, the best thing I can say about him is that he is dead. The teens go to lunch later. Billy Batson and Miguel Montez sit at a booth talking about their experience at the Academy so far. Miguel asks, So are we Titans now? If not, are we Teen Titans? Billy responds, Right now, we're just freshmen. The faculty are the Titans. The upperclassmen who are active, well, they're pretty much like Rooster Teen Titans. Miguel then asks, Okay, and where are they? We ship to Saudi Arabia. The Teen Titans of Crush, Bunker, Roundhouse, Jakeem Thunder, and Red Arrow, and Kid Flash fight off against the Clock King. The Titans at the tower monitor this team. They guide the heroes to success. Starfire, Beast Boy, Nightwing, Cyborg, they all watch this mission go down. Starfire reminds Kid Flash and the team to make it back in time for the party. Raven is relieved that the Teen Titans are doing good. The new batch of teens gets her worried though. We shift to one of the new teens, Brick, fighting hologram Red X in the fighting simulator. Brick blasts and takes down the Red X. Donna walks in saying, wow, impressive. Donna wants to teach for real now. Donna and Brick prepare to fight. Donna tells him to set his feet right. They're about to fight and Donna is going to teach him some lessons. Now, we go to another one of the new teens, Tubi. Roundhouse welcomes Tubi to his room, and they go down to party. Nightwing talks to the Titans about Red X, 
and how he suddenly just showed up as a hologram in the fighting simulator. He doesn't know what to think about it. Now at the end of the party, Nightwing calls attention to himself and pulls out the Red X mask. He says, it's almost lights out, so I just want to thank you all for a great first day at the Academy and also for the surprise party and the gifts, especially this one from Anonymous. Nightwing holds up the Red X mask even higher. He continues, whoever you are, I'm not sure how you found it, but I'm glad you gave it to me today because it's a perfect reminder of what we hope to achieve at the Harper Academy. We all wear this emblem because it stands for something. This whole tower stands for it. Tenacity, teamwork, trust. The whole reason this school exists is to start you on the right path early. And that means even when it's just party games and good fun, we must always, all of us, remember who we are. Red X is what happens when we forget. Red X is when people get hurt. Thank you for the reminder. Alright, lesson's over. I gotta get to the fight sim. Unless it's gonna be a piñata, cause I'll drop everything for a piñata. No, okay? Then, that slides out. It's 9 o'clock. Nightwing escorts all the teens to their rooms to make sure they're fine. But he comes upon the fight simulator. And when he walks in, he sees Brick. And Nightwing says, Brick. It's lights out, will you? But then Brick takes off running. Starfire shows up. Nightwing is confused. He says to Starfire, Did you see him at the party? Starfire responds, I do not believe so, but attendance was not required. Why? Nightwing then looks back at the fight simulator saying, I'm sure it's nothing. Now Starfire smiles saying, Good, because you and I have a date. Nightwing then says, Ah uh, yes, you say I had something to give me for my birthday. Starfire smiles even more. Did you bring the mask? And Nightwing puts out his hand saying, You know what? I think I put it down somewhere in the lounge. Should I go look? Starfire then gets close saying, I think we can do without it. Now Nightwing says, yeah. Starfire says, yeah. They get very close. They're sharing a very intimate moment. Now in the lounge, a teen picks up the Red X mask. And he puts it on, and he hits one of the mirrors in the room. And you see in the reflection, this teen, now with the Red X mask, is he losing himself? Is he going into the darkness? What would this Red X do to the team? What would it do to this person? We don't know who he is yet, but could it cause problems for the new Titans Academy? Well, we'll find out next time, as this issue concludes. And that was the first issue of Titans Academy. And I thought it was a solid first issue. I liked it. Now, it was a little slow at times, but it started to build up toward the end. Because this was really a setup issue. Because this issue is written by Tim Sheridan. And what Tim Sheridan really focuses on is the Red X mask. And I like that, because that's the most intriguing thing out of this whole entire story right now. Because yes, it is a cool idea to have these new teens show up, and Nightwing, Starfire, and the other Titans hold this whole class, this whole academy, to teach these new Titans, and to get them into being heroes. That's nice and all, but that's not really the catch. That's not going to really give me a stick around. At least for me. But, when you add in Red X, and you have Nightwing, Get surprised by Red X in the fight simulator, and then we find out that one of the teens brought the Red X mask out of nowhere, and Nightwing try to use his Red X mask to teach a lesson, but we know that means something darker, because at the end, you see another teen now has it on. Now, we don't know who has it on, that mystery is still needs to like unfold, but for now, it really adds some tension, and gets me excited to see where the story goes. So yeah, a lot of setup in this issue, but the Red X mask and the whole idea of Red X really pushed it forward and kept the momentum. Now, the artwork by Hoffa Sandoval, you already know, his artwork is amazing, guys. How he draws the Teen Titans, the facial expressions, and especially that one double page spread of, like, the, you could say the Rooster Teen Titans of, like, Kid Flash, Crush, Red Arrow, Roundhouse, and Bunker looked really dope. And, yeah, I really like the artwork. Now, there's one more thing I want to note. 
I really like the touch that it's called the Roy Harper Academy. Because yes, he's not dead anymore. If you've read Infinite Frontier, or actually I'll link down below in the description a video that I did on it. But Roy Harper is back from the dead and he's gonna be traveling through the cosmos or doing something, right? He's gonna be involved in Infinite Frontier. So he's doing some bigger things. But for now, the Teen Titans still think that he's dead. And to see that they honor his memory by making an academy off his name is really cool. I like that. Now, I'm overall going to give this issue an 8 out of 10. It's a solid start. If you're not really interested in the Teen Titans, you're not interested in this concept, at least give it a try. Because I'm pretty sure everyone is going to think the Red X stuff is very interesting. And if you don't, then don't really pick it up or continue it. But I think this series should catch people and should get Teen Titans fans excited. But yeah, you guys tell me your thoughts on this issue down below. What would you rate from 1 to 10? If you like the video, give a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Teen Titans Academy video. And yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.